Jazzy Greens and welcome back to another video. This is a very special video that I am bringing to you. It is me and my husband's 20th wedding anniversary today. Yay for us! We have been married 20 years on this day and we got married in the year 2001. So it's our anniversaries. See, yes, she had to drag that out. 2000, <laughs> she almost forgot. She almost forgot. 2001. 2001, yeah, I had to get that straight because our son was born 2003. So anyway, we have a special treat for you guys regarding our anniversary. This is one uh, way that we are expressing our love and we just want to do something fun, you know, for each other and do a little video regarding just kind of reminiscing on some of the things of our wedding and the uh, reception. And we're gonna share a little bit about things that we love about each other. So let's get started. And for those of you who do not know, this is my husband, Sam. Most of you know him. Say hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. So this is my husband, Sam, and um, we're gonna get started. Okay, 20 things that I love about you. <clears throat> the first one, you're a good protector. Now, we can expound a little bit if you want to. You are a good protector. You've always been a good protector. Uh, you protect me and Aaron. I mean, when we go out places, even at home, you look out for us and you just make sure that we're safe and everything's locked up. Uh, you're very polite, very polite. Uh, you say yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, to people, and I think that's nice. Not everybody will do that. Not everybody has the same quality of politeness as you do. There's some people who do, but you know, I like that about you. I love that about you. You're very respectful, and that ties into too polite as well. Very respectful. Um, what can I say about that? Respect is respect. You respect me, you respect our home, you respect my family, you respect your family, and um, you're just respectful even out in the general public. Number four uh, says, good at discerning. Now I have to explain this one. You're good at discerning people in some situations. Now, what I mean by that, you're good at it by the way of how you can be sensitive to a certain situation or a certain person how they may be acting, or if you don't feel like, no, I don't think we should do this because things just don't seem right. That's what I mean by discerning. You can, you're not, I'm not saying you're a psychic because you're not a psychic, but I've experienced some times with you where you were good and you, you, you had a good discernment in certain situations that was happening, if you know what I mean. You know, like, let me see if I can give you another example. And this is not easy to think of examples. I should have written it down. Um, but that what I just said is pretty much it. I mean, um, like for instance, with Angela, uh, there was a time where when she was growing up, um, she was getting involved in certain things as a teenager that wasn't good. And things about the generation of how teens are, you know, you work with teens in the past and you're good at knowing certain things about how they do, how they act. Whereas I'm kind of like, kind of person that doesn't really know of these things. So you, you're good at discerning and picking up and being able to feel that this is not good, this is not right. And then in the end, the end result was you were right. You told me that certain things was happening and I didn't, I wasn't aware of it and you were able to tell me about it and it did happen. Or you helped, you helped me to prevent it from happening. You're very handsome. I married a very handsome man, of course. Uh -oh. Don't you guys think he's handsome? If you do, give me a big thumbs up or comment down below if he's handsome to you. He's handsome to me. <laughs> so. Uh -oh. I had to make him blush, but yes, uh -oh. you're handsome. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to, uh -oh. I didn't marry an ugly man, okay, so. Ooh, well, after that, I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the first thing 
<coughs> excuse me. The first thing about what I love about my wife is no, one. Say it to me. Uh, love about to you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Is the personality. You got an extraordinary personality, and when I first met you, that's your personality you just struck out at me with other things, and that's what I love. I mean, that was just like a touch that just boom, rocked me inside with your personality. Um, you're very charming. That's two. Very, very charming. I, you know, I love that. I love that. With, um, all the other things that I'm gonna say about you is you're charming. You're, you know, you got a really, really funny sense of humor that I love about <laughs> you. And that's what, with me as a man, a part of being that I like to see out of a woman is a you know, sense of humor, personality, charming, and you fulfill that, you know, and more. Uh, this is number four um, <clears throat> love. Boy, you do got the power of love. You do. Um, I mean, I'm just thankful and blessed that God sent me to you and that he sent you to me because um, he knew what he, you know, what he was doing. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Woo! Oh no, it's not I that need that. a tissue, you guys. I do this is not I'm easy sweating. for me. I'm sweating, anyway, she's crying. Keep going, anyway, keep going. <laughs> anyway, you know, um, uh. he knew exactly what he was doing, uh, you know, we've been going through, um, you know, before we met each other, with other things of other relationships that, on my behalf, that totally, totally, totally wasn't, mm -mm, we won't go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're very honest, very honest person. Um, you're honest to me, you're honest to the kids, you're honest to your parents. And I try. <laughs> no. Thank you. You try, but you do good. Mm -hmm. So right there, that's number five. Okay, moving right along. Thank you. You have beautiful teeth. Mm, thank you. I mean, this man's thank teeth you. are white. They're beautiful. They're perfectly straight. Now, he may say they're old and all that, but regardless, he has some beautiful teeth. You have beautiful thank teeth. You. That's the first thing I saw when I met you one uh, the school introduced me to you and you smiled. I was like, ooh. I was like, ooh, let me see those teeth again. I mean, those teeth, it struck out at me. I was like, wow. I've never seen a man with beautiful teeth like that. I really haven't. I love that you love me and your children, your family. The way you love, you love with compassion and just caring. You know, just, mm -hmm. you love the way you love. It's very genuine, it's very real, it's very um, endearing. It's just wonderful. Okay, the next one, you're considerate of other people. You're considerate, yes. You are considerate, even if we're in a grocery store and I don't know, if somebody, let's say, this is just an example of somebody almost accidentally kind of like, you know, almost about to fall or something. You'll say, oh, are you okay? Or something like that. You're considerate. You're very helpful. You know, you will consider other people than yourself, you know, and that's a good quality. My mother has seen that in you. She, she told me the same. So you're very considerate of other people. Uh, you're physically strong. This man is strong, okay? <laughs> now, I'm not talking about like an Iron Man, but you're strong. You're not You're not weak. You know, you, you, shoot. you're strong. That's all I'm going to say. You're strong. Shoot. You keep yourself clean and groomed. I do my best. Yeah, you, you do your best, but you do it, you know. You always keep your mustache trimmed nicely. Uh, everything's grooming, your lotions and everything you have to do, you know, to keep yourself clean. For you, my love, is your pleasant, beautiful smile and those beautiful eat em up dimples. <laughs> I love them dimples, I love their smile. Um, it's just um, really, really, um, mm. <laughs> Can't say it on the camera, but you know what I mean. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it, you know, honestly, the smile and the dimples really, really, uh, it, 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 yeah, it caught me. It really caught me. And uh, it just said to me, whoa, boy, here I am. I'm here. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and boy, did I. <laughs> The other one is caring for people. You do have that very, very touch of caring because like that lady you said um, at the store, the two women, one elderly in the wheelchair or walker, oh, yeah. and she was coughing profusely. Oh, yeah. And with her coughing profusely, you, you know, observed that, you seen it, you walked over there to her, you asked her, can I help you? So no, no, I didn't okay. ask her. I saw that she was struggling and her friend was like, are you okay? She was digging in her purse for something. I don't know, it was medication. So I swiftly ran real fast. I didn't run. I walked real fast in the store. We were at Walmart because Walmart, most Walmarts have um, a McDonald's. So I asked the, the uh, McDonald's, can I have a cup of ice water or just water? You know, and I mean, I was walking fast to get back to her, but she was really, really, really coughing bad. And I just felt like, as a human, I gotta do something to help the lady, I mean. And she was so touched. She was like, oh, thank you so much. Wasn't that nice? I mean, she was so happy. So I felt good to help her. And that's what you have. You have that whole lot in you, just not for people, for your family as well. You go out of your way for your family, kids, your, you know, your uh, mom, mm -hmm. your dad, sisters, brothers. I mean, you just do it for people. Mm -hmm. Did you know yeah. you said moms and dads? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I'd throw that in. I only have know? one mother and one dad. I know, I know. <laughs> moms I'm and dads. Say, what, <laughs> sorry, people. You got to strike that. I'm sorry. You have to strike that. That's my fault. No, my it's fault okay. That. I That's thought a, that was no, funny. No, mom and dad, you know, yeah. and sisters and brothers and kids and husbands. Right. And all. Um, very, very, um, very, very uh, kind and funny. You said funny before. And especially when I first met you, and you didn't, you know, you didn't probably realize what you just said that caught, you know, that I caught, but what you said was funny. And I told you about it and I laughed about it. And I uh, couldn't help but laugh about it. Shoot, it was that funny. Hey, you're very helpful. You help me around the house. Uh, you do some types of cleaning. You vacuum the house. I mean, you wash the dishes at times. And that's very nice because my first marriage, I never had a husband who helped out in the house, did any chores whatsoever. So I'm thankful to have one like you that's very helpful. You're a gentleman. You've always been a gentleman from the day we met You've always been good to me from the day we met, and 20 years later, he's still good, and you're still a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Opens the door for me. I mean, he, he does all the gentleman, gem, gentlemanly things. You do all of those, and you continue to do them. That's my and I appreciate that. Let's say someone gave you ten or $20,000. Well, of course, you're going to do other things with it, but you take good care of me and your family. I mean, you really, when we go out and buy food or if you're gonna give me something personal, uh, whether it's clothes or you're gonna give me some money, you really give big. That's what I mean. You're, you're a good provider. That's, that's what I mean by that. You're taller than me. Yeah. And, and even with heels on. Now, let me tell you this quick story, guys. When I got divorced, the very first time, I said to myself, my next husband, he's gonna be taller than me. He does not have to be six feet or seven feet. He's gotta be taller than me, even when I stand in heels, and that you are. So I'm very happy that you are taller than me. And the last one, I love your sexy voice. Your voice is so sexy. I mean, especially on the phone. When you wake up in the morning, woo. <laughs> I've told you that. Yeah. Even when we were dating and I hear your voice, I would just be like melting, be like, oh, good grief, this man's voice is this sounds so good. So. What I love about you, and that I'm very happy to come into your life, um, you know, because uh, it's 
just all of you. One, thank you. One, we're gonna go about what you were saying about protecting, because you, you protect your family, your kids, me, you know, and your mom and all. You protect us. Uh, like for instance, yesterday, when we had that plumber come to the house. <laughs> the man came in the house now, see, this oh, is my wow. fault, folks. This is my fault. Because I messed up tremendously on this. Tremendously. It's all right. Um, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. But the plumber came by, and he had to fix some things here in the house. The man walked up. Now, see, my wife got this sign out there. And that sign says, no entry. No maps. No, no mass, no, no entry. Right. They, they, <laughs> no mass, no entry. Yeah, help me now. Help me. <laughs> no mass and no entry. That's right. And how in the world could that man not see that big old sign? Not that big, but it's bold enough to see yeah. out there at the door. And I didn't notice the painting man in mind until I said, for him, come on in. And here I am with my mask on. My wife had hers on. And here I'm going up here, telling the man what the problem is. And then, I mentioned it to you, because then he said he had to come back to get some parts or something. And, and do some other, other work orders he had. But then when he came back, you said for sure, now see, this is protecting us, especially with all this mess going on. She said, I mean, I couldn't help it because she was dressed yesterday and army fatigues. <laughs> Serious, army fatigues. She had army hat, army uh, oh my God. Uh, uh, pants, army <laughs> shirt and everything. She said, babe, I don't care. I'm very serious. When that man comes back here, I'm gonna stand behind him. And I'm gonna make sure he has his mask on. Now before all that, before all that, before you left that morning, before you came back this, uh, that afternoon, before you left that morning, you said to him, you said, excuse me, very nicely, very nicely, excuse me, can you put your mask on? <laughs> and of course, he did, but not all the way. And he knew that she meant all the way. That's right. He only put it up to his, ma uh, to his mouth. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't the ticket. But when he came back that day, uh, that afternoon, I opened the door. <laughs> and uh, I was, you know, I want to make sure, and I said, babe, I'm going to make sure I'm going to say something to this man this time. Because I didn't, first time. And that was dumb, dumb of me. And if you had forgotten, and, I was going to help you. <laughs> oh, that, see, that's the protection. That is exactly the protection I'm that's talking right. about. Yeah. Um, what I love about this lovely, beautiful, gorgeous lady, my love of my life, she could dance. She could dance. And, you know, when she dances, it makes me look foolish. No. Because, you know, I'm up here, <laughs> I try to, you know, I mean, you know, really, I'm more of an athlete in my days. And, of course, some athletes can dance, and, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, and then some athletes can't. Well, I mean, you know. So, <laughs> but right. seeing her. As long as you move your body. Cutting up. Whew, <laughs> that, uh, that really made me cut up. As long so, as you move your body to the gym, yeah. that's all it is. Exactly. Don't worry about that. Exactly. Okay, let me uh let me more through here. Helping me when she helps me and when you know you help me when there's times that I forget something. If I forget the doctor's appointment mm -hmm. or I, if I forget to get something at the store, you help me try to remember. And That's what we're I never had anybody mm -hmm. in my life based off a relationship they ever done that to me. If I'm going out somewhere and it's a cold day or cold night, I don't get that cold that easy. Now, I do get cold though, but not that easy. And she would correct me, not correct me, excuse me. She would help me and she would say- Remind you. Remind me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know, don't you think you should bring, you know, like recently, don't you think you should bring a, you know, take a coat, jacket, whatever. And she does that for our son too, when I'm down on something. And it's something that I'm down on the base of the family situations or anything else. You you give me hope and you, and you, you try to build my courage up. Sometimes my courage is to be weak down. Well, you 
trying to build it up. And then I said, okay, baby, you know. Because I've been thinking, you know, some of us men probably are like, uh, I mean, I because I know me, myself, and I, I do. But um, sometimes you don't even hear that. So you give me hope and courage on that. You're very loyal, very loyal to me, very loyal to our marriage, mm -hmm. and very loyal in general. You're very funny. This man is funny. I mean, he cracks me up. You make me laugh a lot. I'm always laughing mm -hmm. and you don't think that you're funny, and that's fine, you don't have to, but you are, you are funny. You, okay. have, a, you have a sense of humor that just, it can just make people laugh, <laughs> you know, even a stranger. You know? I don't think I do. I know you don't feel mm -hmm. that way, but because you can't see it, mm -hmm. but other people can. I can right. see it. You go the extra mile by the things that you do. Even if it's something that you don't have or you don't have enough of, you'll find a way to get it for me. And that speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go any more wow. deeper than that. You Ooh. do. Ooh. <laughs> and you're very patient. Thank you. In a lot of, a lot of aspects. Um, okay. Number 20, my last one, I love how you use self-control. You use self-control in certain ways that I don't. You know, you have, a, you have a strength about you in certain aspects. I'm not gonna go into details about it in this video, but you just have certain strengths that you use self-control, whereas I lack that. You help to kind of, build, I don't know, you kind of help strengthen me if it's a certain situation that's involving both of us where I lack the self-control, you have it. And it helps to bring it all together and tie it in together, so. That's you, you take time out for me uh, in things that, you know, I may want to do with you, but you may not want to, but you do it anyway. And, you know, you're just taking that time out for me, you know, uh, keeping me satisfied and happy. Mm -hmm. And I do the same for you whenever I can. Ooh, 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 ooh. this one about this love of mine, <laughs> she likes to be on time. Oh. She likes to be on time. She cannot stand to be late. I mean, for anything. I mean, for anything. I cringe. I mean, she cringed to that point. <laughs> <laughs> and she will even cringe if she has a set time to get herself together, will groom yeah. around the house. Um, even if she's like, you know, brushing the teeth, she's very versatile. <laughs> so she wants to do that on time. She wants to have everything on time in me. I mean, she would do everything. I mean, it's like if she was brushing her teeth and she had to iron her clothes of mine or our sons, anything that she would do it, you know, to brush her mouth. <laughs> mm, go on in, boy. It's like, mm mm. You know, baby, I like that. Us women are very versatile. Yeah, we're very, anyway. what's that word? We're very, um, I just had it. Never mind, I can't think of it. Okay, when I caress her, of course, that melts me because she's, you know, I mean, there's maybe some women that like to dark skin and do the bodybuilding and buff up the muscles and everything, make them bones harder. They're hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're hard. Some men like to caress that. They like to feel that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I like mm -hmm. to feel the softness. Yeah, smooth I want soft. smooth soft. Firm, yeah. smooth, and soft. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Your eyes mesmerize me because they are so beautiful. Speak up a little Oh, yeah. your eyes mesmerize me because they're so beautiful. I mean, I, those, those eyes just, oh, I can feel those, you know, just to feel it in my bones that I'm looking at your eyes, it's just like, wow. I thank our Heavenly Father for leading us to each other. <laughs> knowing Ooh. what we might have been through in our other relationships, knowing that that was in the relationship, that relationship did not work. But God made it work for you and I. Uh, that's why we love Him so much. <laughs> And we, we love him so we much. We need it. We both need tissues right now. And I'm not that sensitive, but uh, I, I, I uh, do get like this sometimes. So <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is real life, guys. God knew what he exactly knew what he was doing, and he could see that we were the ones 
to be good mates. Compatible. To compatible, exactly. Good mates to one another. And preserve this 20 year anniversary and more. Much more. And Whew. I have to give it to our, our, our father. Because he's the one that did it. And, uh, well, thank you. That was right. sweet. Mm. Yeah. And that kiss there, you, boy, you would have that wedding, boy. That would have been something else. You would have, like all the other folks, they were just like, Ooh, look at that. Look at that uh, Mark, that know? kiss was much longer than this. Yeah. But anyway. That was just a pet. Well, that thank was you. so sweet. Thank that was our 20 things that we love about each other. This Okay, this is part two we're gonna work on. We're gonna talk about some things about our wedding and our reception. If we could change some things about it, what would we change? So this is gonna be a little fun, we like this. Okay, the first thing, if we could change anything about our wedding, we would have more people in that church. Now, I don't really need to explain or expound. We only had very few, um, family members and some friends there. Um, we did not have the church full, 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 because we just couldn't do it. We could not, you know, we just could not have everybody come that we wanted to come. So that's what I would have liked to have done. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We would have loved to have Luther Vandross sing our song, Here and Now. That's the song that I walked down the aisle to with my daddy and we wanted Luther to come and sing that song so bad at the, at the wedding. We were just like, man, we just, we were trying to, we just couldn't get it to happen. We wanted him to come so bad. So if we could do it all over again, but he's no longer here, rest in peace, Luther Vandross, but we would love to have had him here if we could have. Um, it would have been nice if we, if I had had real flowers for my, bridesmaids and all of that and my little flower girl i had full fl flowers and there's nothing wrong with those things so i only was able to go to dollar tree and get some flowers and i made them into bouquets for the ladies and that's all i could do so and also for my flower girl i would love to have given her real rose petals but with her i would have given her a lot more she had the cutest and prettiest little um, basket that I made for her. And I filled it with rose petals like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're just regular rose petals. And I asked one of my bridesmaids, I said, do you think I have enough in here? Think I should put more? And she says, oh, I think that's enough. No, it wasn't enough because the little girl had to walk all the way down to get to the front and <laughs> It was funny how she threw them. Our little, uh, my flower girl was my uh, husband's niece, great niece. So um, she took the flowers and kind of like threw them. It was like, mm. it wasn't like <laughs> sprinkling down. And I know her mother told her how to do it, but she was only what, three or four. So she's still a baby, you know, that's okay. Long as I saw some down there, I was happy. But yeah, I would have filled her little basket up tremendously because I wanted to see the rose petals all the way down and it just wasn't enough. So that's what I would change. And that's okay, she did a good job. For our honeymoon, we would have loved to have gone to Jamaica or anywhere in the Caribbean islands, oh, wouldn't we? Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely so. And that I will happen. That will mm -hmm. happen. We went to, did we go to Las Vegas? Yeah. yeah, we went to Las Vegas. That's how we spent our honeymoon there. And it's nice there, but you know, not as grand and beautiful, you know. But that's okay. We will go there one day. And I um, did, go excuse ahead. me, sorry to interrupt you real quick. I did propose to her prior before we got married. Oh, yeah. At you know, at Bellagio's. Oh, and it, it, it was that time that, <clears throat> excuse me, it was that time that uh, I had her to believe that I had everything set up by, with Bellagio's on the Italian music, because she likes those type of type of music there, mm -hmm. Italian mm -hmm. type of music, I guess. Yes. And classical. Classical, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much like that. So to make a long story short, um, we got to Bellagio's and during the time when we were going to Vegas, 
she was trying to look all around in my pockets to see. You know, I mean, she, you know, I'm driving, she's like, I was looking hard. I mean, she was looking hard. Looking for a box sticking out of his yeah. pocket. I didn't see nothing. I was like, don't tell me he's going to bring me all the way out here for nothing. <laughs> so and, I thought. But she got molded. But anyway, <laughs> the thing is, is that, the, you know, it was just like, as I was just about to give her the ring, it, everything was like on cue because I was talking to a rider before the waterfall actually came uh, up. And it was perfectly on cue it was with me of giving her the ring. And oh, man. I was just really happy that that ring did not go in the bad water. <laughs> because serious. at that point in time, I thought, <laughs> I, was, I was nervous. Can you imagine? So anything could have happened when I got, you know, did being nervous. So, no, they probably can imagine. <laughs> no, yes, but, they can. You, yeah, you think yeah, about it. Yeah, they shoot. Could. I mean, you, you're could. setting the scene for them. They yeah. can. Yeah. And just, you know, I, I gave it to her. And then, of course, when that happened, of course, you seen the joy of tears and happiness uh, came and went down from I was mind. like this. <gasps> yeah, first that. I was so surprised. First oh that. my gosh, she's proposing. And then I started crying. Yes, that was I did. first. And then mm -hmm. the crying came after. Then we had this young couple beside us and boyfriend and girlfriend. They were right then and the girlfriend was like, oh, ooh, she was amazing. Saying how pretty the ring was. Oh yes, rather. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she said to her boyfriend, giving him a hint, mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah, everything he said, hey, you know, I'm happy for you too. Congratulations and uh, hey man, I think you did something for me. That's what he said to me. <laughs> after that, he said, not with his girlfriend hearing it. But he said, I think you did something for me. You know, meaning that, giving them an idea. Mm -hmm. So, that was, that was Yeah, that was so I had special. to get that in there. That was so special, you guys. I only wish I had that on tape. Oh, man. Video. Man. Anyway, moving right along. Um, I would change if I had, I mean, what I would change about my dress is if I had had a much more beautiful dress. Now, my dress was very pretty. I picked it out, but you know, my mother bought my dress. And of course, you know, you gotta have a budget. And so I picked out something that was within that budget. It was very beautiful, but I'm just saying, I mean, my ideal uh, dress, oh, it would have been something else, let me tell you. It would have been really cut and curvy. I mean, it just would have been something else. Also, what I would change is I would kept the dress. Guys, I don't know what year it was in the beginning of our marriage. I had that dress, I kept it in a box that they, the bridal shower, I mean the bridal uh, place provided. And I kept it under the bed. And do you know, after so few years after that, I threw it away. Cause I figured, well, we're already married. You know, why would I want to keep it? I regret it. I really regret it. You would have given the, the groomsmen <laughs> better, <laughs> better gifts. Because, you know, when we had our, um, I can't think of what the phrase is, we had our party, bridal shower. Yeah, I, um, I had cooked dinner, and some of them came over uh, my apartment. We had dinner, we exchanged gifts, and then you gave, um, got the guys their gifts too. Mm -hmm. So he would change yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave him gifts. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Well, we I'll, don't have to say what it is. So. Yeah. yeah, I gave them tell us something. We would give better gifts. And same with me. I gave my girls what I could afford to give them at that time. And they all liked it. You know, it was a nice, pretty bag. And I think it had tissue paper and some little things in there for them. So this is the last part, uh, the reception. Things we would change about our reception if we could, if we could do it over again. Number one, the place that we had the reception. We got married, I mean, we got married. We had the reception at this restaurant and it was a Mexican restaurant. I love Mexican food, but we, we didn't really want Mexican food. We wanted something a little bit more upscale you know, a little more nicer. So the place, it was just okay looking. It wasn't, you know, beautiful like I would have liked to have it. With beautiful chandeliers hanging down. You know what I mean, ladies, the works. So the reception places. 
what we would change, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number two, yeah. if we could have gotten a real live DJ, someone that's experienced and really knows what he's doing. The DJ that we had, he was just okay. You know, I'm not gonna say there's nothing negative about him. It just wasn't professional enough and good enough to our standards. Just an amateur. Yeah. You know, getting himself up there. Mm -hmm. you know, working himself up there. And you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Okay, and the next thing we would change would be the food. Ooh. The food was kind of yucky. Ew. Now, I love Mexican food, but this particular restaurant, the quality of the food, it just was just like stuff you do at home. I mean, it was just okay. It wasn't anything grand, and you know, I was embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what our guests are thinking, but I'm like, they're our family, so they would understand, you know. We did the best we could, you know, under the circumstances. But, um, I was originally going to decorate the tables. Uh, I had bought so many decor things, ladies, the balloons, um, not the table napkins and tablecloths, the restaurant provided that, but other things that I wanted on the table, I did buy. And I didn't get a chance to do this because I was so busy. I had to get my hair done, I had to go do this and that, and as a bride, you're busy. I did not have the time. It was time to go to the church and or something, and I just didn't, I couldn't do it. The limo was on its way. So I was like, I was frantic. I'm like, what am I gonna do? So my mother and my aunt stepped in and said, but look, I know we don't decorate, but Liz, let us do it. I mean, just tell us what you want us to do. So I had to kind of like coach them, tell them I want this. I was very specific what I wanted. I told the, the uh, restaurant how I wanted those tables for the wedding party. We were supposed to be seated a certain way where everyone is in a row like this and the bridegroom is in the middle. You got the bridesmaids over here next to me, the grooms are next to him. That's the way it was supposed to be and facing our guests. But that's not the way it was. When we got to that reception after we walked in, I had to play it off. We both had to play it off. Mm -hmm. I was so mm -hmm. angry. Now, now, Sam did not know exactly how, I don't think you knew how I wanted the table set up. No, I don't think no, so. I mean, but I knew, and I didn't see those tables like that. And I do believe that we asked them to give us a refund, you know, a discount. I was so upset. I just, I was like, and I spoke to the, um, restaurant manager and I said look I told you exactly how I want these tables why aren't they like that okay so yeah I was very hot um, I'm not a wedding planner okay but I was told and if you are a wedding planner and if I'm saying it wrong please correct me in the comment section but I was told that you're supposed to serve the bride and groom first you bring out their food first then you do the wedding party then the guests now, if I'm wrong, tell me, guys, okay? But that's how I wanted it. I told them the restaurant. I specified. They wrote it down, but that's not what we got. We didn't get the good service that we paid for. So, I, oh, yeah, I was angry, okay? So, anyway, let me stop thinking about that. Because okay, let's open our card. <laughs> Sorry. No let's problem. open up our cards. This is my card from Sam, so I'm going to open mine. Mine from this. We thought, we thought we'd share this with you. It says, wait a minute. <laughs> oh my God. I opened up his. Oh, man. Oh I'm glad goodness. I didn't open up hers. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, well, didn't move you? I'll mm -hmm. take it. Okay. I opened up his no, no, by mistake okay. and got a paper cut at that. Oh, ooh, my God. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Why did you go first? Oh, this is a beautiful card. I love it. Look at the little. I don't show know, you guys. I don't know how to pick cards out. I really don't. I don't know. So, the lighting may not be good, but I want you to see it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, uh, thank you. I yes, really it do, is. I like the uh, the glitter glam glasses. Okay, I'll put my glasses on. Here's to you. It says. The moments that matter, the memories we share, the meaningful ways you sh you show that you care, the love of a lifetime, the joys yet to come, 
the marriage you've made is a beautiful one. Happy anniversary. Love you, my my heart of love. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank God bless you. you. Say that too. You are a wonderful husband and father. As we celebrate our anniversary, anniversary, I should say, I want to tell you that I love you. Not just for everything you do as a husband and father, but for the way you do it. Oh boy, now you got to. No, no, the, yeah, then the inside. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's right. Uh, love always. Okay, no, no, no. And it says, your, oh. Oh, your, your humor and patience, your commitment. You need to go to have your, on. Uh, <laughs> I ain't got no glass. This is uh, where you left off. Your humor and patience, and patience, your commitment to our home and family show such caring and love. And it says, love always. That's a little hard inside. Right. I can't imagine sharing my life and raising a family with anyone else but you. Oh Happy goodness. 20th anniversary. Love your wifey. <laughs> you, and I say wifey, guys, because I don't like that name. I can't stand that. I don't like the way it sounds, wifey. But she I like hubby, just, but she yeah, I like wife. hubby, but I don't like the wifey. It just mm -hmm. don't sound too good. But let me show you guys the card. Yeah, that That's the card I got card. him. I don't know how the lighting is, but. That is so beautiful. Oh, let me show you inside. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but oh boy. It's a lot of editing in that. To my beautiful boy of 20 years, I cannot imagine how much you put up with me within that 20 years. I don't know, I got on your nerves so many times, but. Vice versa. But you know what? You erased the past. You brought in the happiness of love. Because if it wasn't like that, it wouldn't be 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, to you, love. To us. Oh, to us, yeah. <laughs> he, said uh, to, he said to me, <laughs> to, to us. To us. Happy yeah. anniversary. Happy babe. anniversary, babe. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good and sweet. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope that you have enjoyed. We're going to continue celebrating our anniversary the entire month. We're going to do what we can. Exactly. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please leave me comments down below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome. If you have not yet joined the Jazzy Green Family, please click on that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my channel. Please. You guys take care. You be blessed. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye. Peace, love, and happiness.